Welcome to another episode of Here's Why with Mark and Eric. So Eric, what is a, a private blog network? You know, it's an interesting question uh, because a lot of people aren't familiar with what this is, but a private blog network is not necessarily really a network, but what it is is sites that you have or that you develop relationships with that really just exists to pass link juice to other sites. And so let me explain this a little further by um, outlining how people put these together. What they do is they look for domains that expire and then they monitor when a domain expires and they see which ones actually have links coming into them. Uh, and if they have good links coming into them and the domain is expired, they buy the domain. Okay. Uh, and then what they do is they put content back on the domain, uh, typically not the same content that was there before, but related content. Uh, and then in theory, those domains now have page rank or link juice if you prefer. Mm -hmm. And you can link out from that to selected sites under your control or selected sites you sell those links to. So that's really what a private uh, blog network is. Okay, well it sounds like it could be effective strategy of link building. Uh, what, is, what does Google do with that? Well, um, what Google did recently is they took action against a number of blog networks. Uh -huh. So they can actually look for things like, uh, and here's a little bit of a signature. You, know, you have this site, it's sitting there, it's basically doing nothing, it has some links, and periodically a link or two gets uh, added to it to link out to something else. Uh, but the inactivity of the site is a signal that Google might use to detect a private blog network, and they don't like them, so they'll either ban the, the sites in the private blog network and just take them out of their index, okay. or they could even potentially take action against the sites receiving links from the PDFs. Oh, okay, so that could be a concern. Well, what about uh, microsites? Are, are they a problem? Are they something that I should be worried about if I'm doing those? Well, first of all, from my perspective, microsites are a dicey value proposition anyway. Uh, and a lot of times what happens is companies put up microsites because they're trying to get more than one listing for a particular search term mm -hmm. in the search results. And when they do this, what they end up doing is they put up the microsite, they might do some initial activity to get some links to it, they put some initial content up, but then because it's not really strategic to them, they stop investing in the sites, so they sit dormant. Mm -hmm. And this is a scenario where it's potentially possible that it could be seen as a private blog network type oh, site. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and the key is that you really want to have sites that are actively maintained and actively marketed. So from my perspective, when, when I have somebody come to me and say, hey, we're interested in putting up a microsite, should we do this? Um, I always tell them that every microsite you have is another unique marketing problem. So if you're willing to invest in that and have someone who's responsible for marketing it and maintaining it and developing it on an ongoing basis, then by all means, a microsite might make sense to you okay. uh, to do. But um, if you're not willing to do those things, then you should stay away. So it's not a black and white situation, but you should make a judgment uh, based on the criteria that you just gave as far as wh whether it will be valuable for you or not. Yeah, as long as you're willing to invest in it on an ongoing basis, I think it's all right. Great, great. Well, Eric's actually written some in-depth uh, material about this. If you're worried about PBNs or microsites, if that's something that you're doing or thinking about doing, and you want to know, is there a way to do this right, or am I in danger with Google, uh, check out that article. We've linked it here below. And please do join us again next time for another episode of Here's Why with Mark and Eric.